I've gotten the Plutonia MIDI pack extracted, but I need to actually spend the time to convert them over from MIDIs. Because, I mean, I got a lot of nice MIDIs, like we have this. But I need to get them into a different format so I can actually play them through Foobar. <laughs> so yeah, this is, this is the full size of the thing. <laughs> It's at its maximum size now. I just need to add and subtract and all that other stuff with the monsties. There we go, we got a little doom music. Uh, let's go with this one first. So I'm currently working on the different difficulty levels and I've gotten as far as to the old blue key door, so I'm just gonna make some adjustments from here. I had some stuff since last time, mostly just co-op and deathmatch stuff. So like, for co-op, the door at the start actually opens up automatically in co-op and it reveals this room. And these are a series of shortcuts to help you get back after dying. They open up as you progress through the map, and as you go, and each one opens up, a different weapon spawns in, just in case you don't have weapons to stay on. <laughs> so just a little something something to make sure that goes a bit more smoothly. They're all squirreled away in, like, spots that you can't access outside of co-op. Such as, like, this is what it looks like normally, but in the back, of course, there's one of the shortcuts. I squirreled them away all over the place. Like here, we got a perfectly normal looking wall, but in behind this guy in particular, we have another one. <laughs> and Deathmatch is like, th this place is too big for Deathmatch. So I made this. Here be the Deathmatch. <laughs> You got a bunch of spawns around an outer edge, some basic weapons, and some goodies on the thin platforms. If you fall, you're dead. <laughs> if you want to battle in a place that looks like this, then you can do it, I guess. Precipice of Torment. Alright, let's go ahead and adjust some of these. So I'm gonna keep this guy on all difficulties. But I'll remove a couple of the shotgunners on easy mode. Easy mode! <laughs> I'll have these two chain getters be hard mode only. We'll do these three imps as hard mode only. And this one chain gun is not on easy mode. And these two shot cutters won't be on easy mode. Coming in here, that's fine. Alright, this spot I definitely need to adjust. <laughs> So let's see, this is spawning in over here. I think I see which one that is. Yeah, that's the one. So this chain gunner right here is going to be a chain gunner on hard mode. An imp on medium. And just a tiny little zombie man on easy.
but everything else will be the same. And I guess on easy I won't spawn the demon in behind them. Gonna make this barren. Hard mode only. Keep the others. Let's have a couple of less of these on easy mode. Really just trying to adjust things to be a lot less monsters overall. <laughs> Alright, we got a little monster closet here. Where are these spawning in from? All the way over there, okay. On easy mode, we won't have the demons. And we'll have like two less imps. It's a pretty harmless encounter, so this one's fine. Now this Baron, though. Alright, it's just this one. So I'll have a Baron on Ultraviolence. And I guess we'll just have it be a Hell Knight. On this. I'll just be a regular old demon. On easy mode. There we go. Get rid of the imps down here, specifically on easy. Alright, so I need to deal with this encounter next. So where's that teleport closet? It's those three! And then there's some... Oops. Some chain gunners down this way. The last two, I'm gonna make it only show up on Ultraviolence, since this is the only double spawn. And I'll turn the other three into... Shotgunners, specifically on Easy. Much how it goes for most of these things is tearing enemies down and just having less in general. Now that's where the actual closets themselves. So it's those three. There's quite a few barons. These two barons, I'll go ahead and make it so they're only on ultraviolence. And I'm gonna replace these four barons with Hell Knights on easy mode. Also slightly reduce the actual monster count a little bit. I'll keep as many demons for the second phase, and I'll just do the same thing with the imps. Reduce the overall count. I don't see anything I can do with the power ups. Oh, I know an easy one. 
an easy mode. We will change this from a health for a med kit into a supercharge. There we go. Bit of extra HP. Put a little bit of extra ammo uh, in easy mode as well. Not much, just a couple of extra rockets. Make sure easy mode is legitimately quite easy. <laughs> the trickier one is going to be co-op since uh, <laughs> I need to add a bunch of extra stuff for that and that's going to probably require the necessitation of creating more monster closets. I got a second. Turn into it. <laughs> yep. Usually on my maps, I'll put down a signature. And by usually on my maps, I mean I've done it two out of two times. <laughs> It'll show up on the auto map, guaranteed. Hang on, I just realized I forgot to do something. One sec. Charge files in this map. The next map, however, I have lots of access. But the next map's weird. I have a lot of access to the high tier monsters and not a whole lot of access to the low tier monsters. <laughs> I don't have zombie men, shotgunners, imps, cagademons. <laughs> it's so strange. No hell knights, barons, old. We don't have imps or medium imps. We only have big imps. ONLY BIG IMPS ALLOWED! <laughs> Less imps sniping about. Two maps is the second one combining. Uh, map 31 from Doom 2, so the Wolfenstein stage. And go to it from Plutonia! <laughs> Just 
strange mix, I must say. Both maps are actually fairly small and don't use a lot of textures, though, so it should probably encourage me to not go too crazy. But expect some really nasty encounters, nonetheless. <laughs> Why'd you say remnant? Because there's always like a hundred bajillion remnants in every custom mod. <laughs> you open a door and all you hear is the screaming. Oh god, the screaming. What I'm gonna do is... Do that one, and specifically on Hervey Plenty, so you can convert into the sergeants. And they just won't exist at all on easy. <laughs> Yeah, Revenants, Archie, Cyber Demon, Spider Mastermind, Arachnotrons, Manicubus, Pain Elementals! <laughs> There's barely actually chain gunners that go to it. They're, they're pretty much all in one spot. And then there's basically nothing for the rest of the map. <laughs> they just rely on the big chunky fellas. So what I'm gonna do is, like, these two exist normally, but specifically on easy mode, instead of Ancubi, let's get out and be Cacodemons. Less threatening, and they'll come riding after you. <laughs> Wait, I can't do Cacodemons on these. Never mind. <laughs> Kagumins don't work on those because they float. <laughs> well, in that case, we'll just put some imps. Ugh, scary imps. All right, and this is the other five. I'm gonna have one less Macubus. Let's see, where does this one teleport to? Right, the one up there. That one will be hard mode only. And this one will be converted to an imp for easy mode. What's that box to do? It's adorable! <laughs> it looks a lot better than a lot of the other attempts to make 3D models of the Doom monsters. Prior attempts had been made, but they just hadn't been very good. <laughs> Where is this one teleport again? Okay, yeah. Is this one hooked up to a different door? Sure is. It's a funny combo. I'm definitely gonna do some stuff with the simplistic hallways. <laughs> like, I'm keeping these three buddies at all times. So this is what it looks like in editor, right? Just a completely invisible. I mean, well, a bunch of missing textures, but it shows up as an invisible wall in game. The shelter the three dudes that are just hanging out, you know? <laughs> They're just having a having a good time. That one's got a drink. <laughs> this one's got a, a meat burger of some kind. <laughs> I 
gonna get rid of these guys on easy mode, just to have less things in the pits. Easy mode had the Baron. Bring him over! I'll slightly reduce the number of pinkies, but not by a lot. Chain gunner's gonna be gone, specifically on easy. Three Mackie buy on easy. And get rid of the pinkies on everything except for ultra violence. Get rid of two chain gutters on easy. Oh yeah. have the one Mancubus on easy. I'll make it the closer one that's despawned. There we go. There's three Mancubi that spawn in here. I'm only gonna have one on easy and two on Herbie Plenty. But I need to remember which closet they come out of. There it is. So yeah, if you want a more manageable number of monsters, even on even on medium, I take away quite a few of them. And see, this spot right here definitely needs to have a few less. Which means I need to double check what closet these ones come from. Looks like it's the very bottom closet, so right here. Oh, nope, that's not accurate. It's probably this one. That is indeed the one! Alright, so here's the plan, right? <laughs> Well, they go to it and Wolfenstein called me one call. I think it's just gonna be Wolf to it. <laughs> bark, bark, indeed. There are so many less chain gunners on easy mode. <laughs> you want less chain gunners? Just put her on easy mode. I'll do the job. Alright, this monster closet. That makes sense that it's its own individual one. This guy will not exist on easy. Alright, next up we have this encounter. I'm definitely gonna want less cacity when spawning into these uh, windows. On easy, I will cut them down by exactly 50%. I'll also get rid of two of them for medium as well. 
that goes to that side, that goes to that side. Okay, so. Wait a minute, 299. That's an interesting bug that would have happened. I'm gonna need a new ID. How did I get overlapping 299s? Well, that's weird. All right, let's fix that. Yeah, 299 and 300 apparently are overlapping. Strange. All right, let's fix that. Because that could probably cause bugs. Or 298 and 299, okay. Yeah, they're terrified. <laughs> Weird. So we'll do 407 and 408. Find the bugs, oh yeah! <laughs> it never actually caused any issues, though. That's odd. <laughs> I guess it fixed itself at the end, but just to make sure we don't have any problems. There we go. I'm pretty sure this is the encounter right here. Yes, yes, it is. I'm gonna have the last Tell Nine and Baron just be hard mode only. And I'll convert these two Barons into Hell Knights for easy mode. But there will be one Baron! <laughs> Alright, Easy Bone's not gonna have the first two Mancubi. But they will have the last two. Yep, it's being used in Amalgam! Well, hopefully. <laughs> Much like with any other community project, there have been some hurdles. <laughs> so hopefully this get crossed and we get to the finish line. Slightly less enemies in each encounter. In fact, let me put these back on on easy mode. They're already not getting the Mankey Vine, they'll be fine. <laughs> Alright, that makes things a little bit easier here. There's already tons of health and armor and whatnot, but I will do one thing. Specifically on easy, I shall bump this up to blue armor. And perhaps add just a tiny bit more HP. <laughs> Not much, mind you, but a little bit.
There we are. It's a little bit of extra HP for the easier difficulty. <laughs> Keep people nice and patched up. Alright, I'm gonna keep the bank in mind that it spawns here, but there's also a couple of chain gunners that I'll deal with. Uneasy, they're just gonna not exist! And on hard mode, I mean, on medium, there will only be one. <laughs> Where do these guys spawn again? Alright, I remember where they spawn. Oh, I don't make fun of people too much. I all gotta start somewhere with when it comes to playing these types of games. They can be hard! Just do a couple of Kappa Demons on easy. Two again. The two fellows that spawn in here. Let's see, where do they come from? It's gonna be a closet of two mancubi. Get us so far away at this point. There they are. This particular project seems to be trending on easier, so don't have to worry too much about difficulty, at least. Nah, this map isn't a slaughter one. It's more about exploration than anything else. It has a fairly uh, high enemy count, but it's also large, so you know. <laughs> it's got a couple of encounters that can be spicy, but that's about it. One Hell Knight totally owned somebody. <laughs> Good work, Hell Knight! Caught him off guard and took him down! <laughs> Thank you, bye. All right, now we're as far as here. So that takes us all the way over here. Gonna bump this guy down to a shotgunner for easy mode. This is the whole point of this guy, is just to get you to shoot. So you can wake up the lost souls. <laughs> guy's gonna become an imp. And we'll have two less imps harassing you from the distance if you play on anything other than ultraviolence. Ah, this one Baron! 
There they are. <laughs> They're not even gonna show up on easy. And on medium, it's just gonna be a hell night. A little less tanky. <laughs> there we go. Sandy's silly hallway. <laughs> Oh, Sandy, you and your silly, silly hallway. <laughs> ah, these last souls. One less lost soul per difficulty. Keeping their numbers down. <laughs> Sandy Peterson is the man who did most of the maps for Doom 1 and Doom 2. <laughs> and he kind of had to churn them out extremely quickly, so their quality is... interesting most of the time. <laughs> He came up with some very silly gimmicks as a result. <laughs> but at the same time, they're a bit strange. Just more than word I'd use for Sandy's uh, other maps. <laughs> then you get really divisive like, ones like the Chasm. <laughs> Where I like it, there's quite a few people that do like it, but it is very divisive. Tricks and Traps is another divisive one. Because it's a funny idea. <laughs> Not a lot of people appreciate the execution. Less overall dudes on lower difficulties. Extra mechanism on ultraviolence, just one. A lot less dudes in the waves here. The first wave I'm gonna make notably smaller on anything except for ultraviolence. And here I'll be more the opposite. I've ever had that issue with the, the exit door, but I can see that issue existing. Alright! Let's see, do I need to add anything for survivability on other difficulties? Oh, I remember what I wanted to do. So I'm gonna change up how the invulnerabilities work. On medium and hard, I'll leave them here. This is the one vulnerability you get to use. But on easy, I'm actually going to do something else. I'm going to put an involve here, but the one that drops a bit sooner. No, I'm just being honest with that one. Doom has some very strange collision physics. <laughs> It's not exactly the least likely situation for you to just bounce off of a wall. <laughs> I tell you what, it hurt me plenty. I'll throw you some slack.
You get one Mega Sphere. Use it well. And I'll add a little bit more ammo. And just for easy mode, they'll get a few shotgun shells. Just a little something, yeah, a little some something. But survivability, that should be plenty. These should be pretty much good to go. Let's do a run on easy mode and see how it goes. I'm not going to go after the secrets and whatnot. I already tested those. So let me just... Hey, not too rough. Let's go. Flip myself up. There we go, we got a little bit of dessert going. That's not gonna hit me from all the way over there, what a jerk. <laughs> okay, fine, I'll go this way first. Doom platforming! <laughs> it's an interesting beast if you try to rush! Actually, I really should be getting the, shot, the rocket launcher first before I go that way. <laughs> Tomatoes have been launched! <laughs> now then, I at least want to go grab the super shotgun a little bit early. <laughs> Extra dead chain gunner is the best kind. <laughs> uh. 
Everything feels so much easier already. <laughs> I mean, that's the intention, but like... You really notice it after having to play test ultraviolence for so long. Yeah, that's it. Oh, one straggler. Well, actually, I probably should do a full run of the stage just to make sure all the enemies are available. stuff by a recommendation of the playtester. They mentioned how they originally could hear the noise, and at first I'm like, ah, you know, that makes the puzzle too easy, but at the same time, yeah, it's super annoying to do Sandy's silly switch puzzle without being able to hear the doors, so. I put some dummy sectors in the map to make the door sound for you that's just within audible range. So if you're close it, you can hear it too. So they're off in the right direction, but they're quiet. <laughs> Same for these. That was a dummy sector opening up, just to make sure the, audi the door sounds audible. <laughs> That one I didn't need to add anything because this guy already gives it away. <laughs> You're supposed to be dead. <laughs> Good work, buddy. Nice shot. It's very quiet, but you can actually hear something lowering when I press that. It's a dummy sector that's like around here or so. Because these are completely inaudible, they're too far away. So you got to listen carefully, but you can hear something happening now. <laughs> this room's a bit less intimidating. <laughs> and by a bit, I mean severely. <laughs> This is just two demons now. <laughs> Very simple. <laughs> Got tons of rockets, so I mean, I can mess with it. Can't really see anything going wrong here, but just in case, not to waste the time. They get a blue armor for this encounter. <laughs> These guys have been demoted to shock gutters instead of chain gutters. Just less dudes in general. <laughs> Rockets are still the most threatening thing. Here come the dudes! The dudes are being sent! 
and they're all by their lonesome. It's actually quite possible to finish the fight early in this particular difficulty. <laughs> it's like the, the encounter is still expected to be going on, but it's not done yet. <laughs> I'm ready to move on. Hey. Hey, I'm ready. Hey, can I leave? Thank you. <laughs> Ah, oh, yeah, Doom ran of us. That'd be great. <laughs> Wait, that exists in several forms. But combining it with an existing one would be neat. I came very close to face rocketing myself there. Flashbang! Na 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 na. Oh, it's so harmless now. And here's the Mancubite. There's a couple of them, I guess. Hey, you're really supposed to be dead. Pew! 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 <laughs> like, I shot four rockets at you, buddy. What are you doing still alive? <laughs> armor here if it's still needed. Supercharge! Does this count as an item? It sure does. Chain Gunner's been removed from this one. Alright, on to the old key section. enemies in there anymore. It's quite relaxing playing on different lower difficulties, I must say. Pretty low stress. <laughs> Try to rush ahead. It's like, oh no, zombie man! <laughs> a bit dangerous using a rocket launcher in this area, but you know, whatever. <laughs> On this one, I can pretty much just feel like, eh. <laughs> Yim's trying to wander through this meat maze. This encounter should be pretty simple. Really, 
you have any imps up there? I couldn't even see them. There's all the stuff. Got the backpack. I might as well at least get these two crushers going. Begin! Come here, fellas. Come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. Squishy, squishy. The enemy counts slightly more for easy mode. <laughs> Mostly of the fodder. about these guys. I have to make a small adjustment for those ones. Want to keep things nice and simple on this boat. Many can't get even spawning in here. Oh, yeah, it's just a three. Hey, get down from there. <laughs> One bit of feedback I got that I couldn't help but be amused by. The playtester kind of wanted more realistic rock shapes for the narrow walkways. So basically they wanted them to zigzag and be less predictable. And I'm thinking about that, I'm like... So let me get this straight. You want to take the main concept from the chasm, a very divisive stage as is, and make it more frustrating. <laughs> it's like, I mean, okay, but I'm not gonna. <laughs> Your feedback has been received, but I choose not. <laughs> but is it just chilling? Don't mind them. this. We're currently testing the easiest difficulty. Since I got the hardest difficulty I ironed out, so now it's on to the smaller ones. We're gonna have less imps down there. I think I didn't really adjust that imp spot in general. Or these guys, now that I think about it. This spot got kind of ignored. I need to fix that. easier to deal with with so many less magic you buy. <laughs> oh, 
What kind of good news did you get, Angel? <laughs> what flavor? <laughs> Poor little demons. <laughs> Man, you can lean really heavily on rockets on easy mode. <laughs> I don't even need this! I've barely taken damage! Oh. either, but... <laughs> Gotta make sure 100% still works. Oh, that's right, I left that mechanism up there. That might be a little spicy for easy mode. Definitely some small adjustments to make. This guy's gone. Oh, so where are you going? Get back here. <laughs> it goes for your friends. Hmm. And Baron might be a bit much too. Oopsies. That's unfortunate. Oh yeah, I didn't adjust this one at all. Shouldn't have those chain gunners. Oopsie doopsie! Definitely forgot to adjust a couple of encounters. I'll talk to this while I can still hear. Might be a little spicy for easy mode. I'll calm that one down. <laughs> I 
Because I had to play this with the perspective of not having the BFG. <laughs> I know I have it, but it's a secret, so I have to test it without keeping that in mind. <laughs> no BFGs. Oh, that cacodemon is gone. <laughs> For the record, I'm actually holding the lock button on that. <laughs> Just to make it less likely that I'm gonna <laughs> fall off. Narrow walkway platforming and having to deal with enemies at the same time. <laughs> I wonder where that other cacket even turned up. I'll have to come back for him later. Because he is extra gone. <laughs> Alright, with the two invulnerabilities, this shouldn't be too bad on easy, but we'll see. trying to move here pretty soon. Really it. <laughs> oh, the one straggler. It's like two involves and plenty of health. Come on, it'll be nice and easy. A little bit of satisfying carnage. <laughs> All right, let me go get back and get that one cacky demon that flew off into the stratosphere. <laughs> Where'd they go? Cacodemon! Cacodemon, where are you? There you are! Alright, there we go. <laughs> it was slowly making its way back. Oops. Trying to go at full speed. Fresh meat. Hey, Meatball. How you doing?
There we are. <laughs> the further you go in, the more shortcuts open up to allow easier backtracking. I'm gonna go over here. Oh yeah, nothing blocking the hallway on easy mode. Nice and simple. There's another lost soul. There it is. Upsies. Lost souls. Ah, I think I got 100% kills because that's two lost souls, which GCD counts because reasons. And two imps. Yeah, there we go. That's everything. <laughs> Alright, a couple of adjustments to make, but overall, that is much easier. Let's make a couple of quick adjustments. First things first, I don't want to have four uh, Mancubi showing up up here. <laughs> Where are they spawning in from? It's these four, okay. I'm only going to have two of them show up. So that one, and actually I'll have the two side ones. The one in the back will be hard mode only. And the one in the front will not show up on easy. There we go. Otherwise, that last king encounter is plenty easy. <laughs> Alright, this one needs to have its number of monsters reduced. It's still pretty spicy. Which means, I think I'm actually going to adjust this. What I currently have set up for easy mode is probably better for Herb Be Plenty at this point. Alright, and we'll heavily reduce the number of demons that pop out. Help keep them from getting overrun. Number of Kakos is fine. These guys is fine. Maybe like one less. There we go. Soften up that encounter a little bit. It's a bit much for easy mode. I completely forgot about this spawn, so where is that one coming in from? This closet. So much like with the others, I'm gonna turn this one into an imp on easy mode. I also didn't lessen the number of fellas on these cliffs. Let's teleport in from that closet over there. Yeah, we're up to almost 86,000 at the moment, Vortale. <laughs> and there's gonna be more because I'm gonna make additional closets for co-op. <laughs> I 
There we go. Soften that one. What else was I forgetting? All right, this encounter. This needs to be adjusted big time. <laughs> it's getting up there. <laughs> All right, on easy mode, I'm gonna convert these guys to just zombie men. This Baron will only exist on Ultraviolence. Yeah, I think I caught up with all the encounters. Everything else seemed pretty much fine. All right, I wanted to soften up the Crusher encounter. That was a bit too many enemies. Too many riffraff. I'll make this that one, and then this one will be for easy mode. All right, have a good one, Ranko. Thanks for dropping by. Let's see, I'll have a couple of the pinkies here be reduced. Alright, that is severely less enemies, but I mean, <laughs> it can be a little spicy, so we're calming it down. Alright, that's that one. Did I actually adjust this at all? Yeah, I did. Okay. Alright. That should do it for easy mode. That's all the stuff that I wanted to adjust, otherwise it's fine. There's tons of extra ammo, tons of extra health and armor. Should be fine. So the only difficulty I have left now is co-op, which I will make sure to add more stuff to. I've already put in all the like co-op accessories for easy transportation and whatnot, but we gotta have some co-op monsters, you know? Really spice it up just a, just a little bit more. Just a little more. Maybe take it over a thousand monsters, we'll see. But I'm going to have to work on that a little later. So it's time to finish up for the day. <laughs> In the meantime, though... Sadly, I don't have access to Siren News. I'm going to obey the enemy restrictions, even in co-op monsters. Otherwise, there would be skeletons. <laughs> but I'm probably going to make additional closets and have them... Supplement some of these encounters. <laughs> Add some extra ammo and just have a grand old time. Alright. For now, I think that'll do. <laughs>